Hey guys, welcome to question FM336 of the Further Mass Fortify Study Guide. Uh, so this question is a little bit of a continuation of FM335. Uh, so some of the things that I'm going to uh, talk about here have been covered off in 335. So if anything doesn't make sense, maybe go back and watch that video uh, before coming back to this one. So this question reads, Dan owns a rocket car. On this particular day, Dan will leave town A at sunrise to arrive at town B at sunrise for training. Assuming the radius of the earth is 6,400 kilometers, the minimum speed in kilometers per hour that Dan will have to drive his rocket car at to get to Brittany's dojo at the desired time is closest to what? And we're given five options there. So we have to break this question down a fair bit. What we want, as a final answer is a speed. And we can get a speed by taking a distance in hours, sorry, a distance in, a distance in kilometers over a time in hours to get an answer that is in kilometers per hour. So the time we covered in the last question, so we know that it's going to take 52 minutes to get from town A to town B. However, we want to express this in, in its exact form because it would take 13 out of 15 hours. So 13 over 15 hours is the exact representation of 52 minutes. Uh, it's a nice one for us to use there rather than, I think it's a pretty gross decimal if you try and take a decimal figure. So that's somewhat easy. The more complicated one is the distance. Now the distance we can actually find by finding the, we want to find the curved distance between those two points. So what we are going to do is take an arc length. So we're used to using arc length. Now you might have a slightly different formula for calculating arc length. Um, I'm going to use the more extended one, which is two pi r times theta over 360. You might, guys might just have pi r theta over 180. That's the same formula essentially, just substituting for r and theta will give you the same answer. So when we're calculating distance, our r, our radius, is going to be 6,400. We've been told to assume that the radius of the Earth is 6,400 meters. The location of town A and town B is at zero degrees, 80 degrees, and zero degrees, 90 degrees, sorry, zero degrees, 93 degrees for town B which means that the distance that we're traveling along is along the equator. So we might be going from this point here to a point over here. So we're traveling along the equator and the equator of course is a great circle, which means it will have a radius of 6,400. Theta is then just going to be the difference between these two angles. So we've got 93 degrees minus 80 degrees, means the difference between them is going to be 13 degrees. Putting this all together, we get 2 times pi times 6,400 times 13 over 360. Chucking this into a calculator for a little simplification will give 4,160 pi over 9. And we'll use this to represent our exact distance. So, now bringing it all together, Speed equals, we're going to substitute our value for distance, which was this 4,160 pi over 9. Sorry about the terrible little setup there. Over 9, all over 13 over 15. Plugging that all into a calculator should get you an answer. Rand one decimal place of 1,675.5, which of course is closest to option D. If you guys have any questions about this question, please drop them in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.